WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 378. NASDAQ is up 48. S&P is down 32. Gold. Gold contract up $4, trading out at 18.02 an ounce. We have silver up two cents, twenty-two dollars forty-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet true down a buck and a half, seventy dollars eighty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up two ticks, trading one thirty-one oh five. The thirty-year up fifteen at one sixty-two nineteen. And King Dollar, King Dollar brought it all the way back. This is going to be a trip watching this whole thing shake out. You get King Dollar up uh, half a penny, up over half a penny, five hundred twenty-two ticks, ninety-six five sixty-one. Euros at one twelve. Yen is at 113 and a half, and the British pound is at 132 to 1 U.S. dollar. You are going to see some action coming into the close here, folks, because, yes, we have quad rich witching, but that's not what's going to bring the action in here. What's going to bring the action in here is you have the rebalancing of the S&P 500, okay? And when that happens, <laughs> the bottom line, you're going to see some monster buys, you're going to see some monster sells, and we'll see where the whole thing shakes out at the end. That being said, my takeout here goes like this, that... You know, you get down to 458 out here today, you're at 462. This market still wants higher price. My take is that uh, the highs are going to get tested once again. It, it, you went to a higher high yesterday, you gave it up on price. The volume's not bad, though. The volume was 116 million versus the last high out there was 73 million. That's in your S&P. We go take a look at the NDX 100. It's a different story inside the NDX. NDX out here, uh, bottom line, only had made it up to the, you know, uh, let's see, the last time we got up, which a few weeks ago, we got up to 401.19. I expect that that's going to get tested again. I suspect what we're going to have is this. You're going to see the S&P test the highs again, probably fail, because I think we're going into a big consolidation. The NASDAQ, the Qs will probably go to the top of the range, which is the 400 again, and, you know, it's real possible that the NDX 100 actually saw their highs. Gold, gold contract out here is looking for higher price. We had out here today is that you had a low of 1798. You had a high of 1815. You've done a uh, contract volume of 144,000, which is decent contract volume. Uh, it hasn't, hold it hasn't held price as that good old King Dollar uh, decided to take off topside again. You can see King Dollar has actually been trading sideways now for, my God, three weeks. But it caught a bid out here. There's no two ways about it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs> 